वेलकम चिल्ड्रन टू द वीडियो लेक्चर ऑफ सोशल साइंस स्टैंडर्ड टेंथ दिस इज द टेंथ वीडियो लेक्चर ऑफ चैप्टर नंबर एटीन इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो लेक्चर वी सो अबाउट द वेज इन विच द कंज्यूमर कैन मेजर और वॉट आर द मेजर फॉर कंज्यूमर प्रोटेक्शन राइट we saw that there are district forums where you can go if the compensation is up to 20 lakh rupees in state level you can go up to 20 to 1 crore rupees at national forum you can go from where it is 1 crore more than 1 crore okay we also saw about the consumer societies various forums and other things public distribution system and the main important topic that we studied was system certified weighing measures okay that is isi mark bis mark eg mark then the 916 logo which is given to the gold we also saw about fpo wool mark mpo and hsacp logos right today we are going to see about the organizations and international level this we saw the organizations at the national level now we are seeing about international level okay See, two organizations are working at international level for standardization of the product. The first one, or the most important one, is ISO. Okay, it is known as ISO, International Standardization Organization. Its headquarters is in Geneva. It is as it was established in nineteen forty-seven. It is main function is to provide certification of standard according to the international standard. Okay, to provide certificate as per the international. standard that is iso 9000 9001 that all things are given as per the required standards it is given to environment management system by international organization which is certified or the officers and institute of having high quality those institutes certificates okay those institutes then officers then then firms which are following the required quality benchmark by the iso will be given the iso certificate okay the second important international organization is codex alimentris commission or cac okay codex alimentris commission is the name of cac this organization was set up to certify edible products see it is an international organization commission for food in 1963 food and agriculture organization that is fao and world health organization established it its headquarter is located in rome capital of italy its main function is to develop food standard guidelines and code of practice for production and international trade in food products like milk milk products meat fish etc the cac is very important the job work of conducting iso is done by bis in india while director general of health services contacts cac so these are the two international quality checking organizations okay now comes if you have faced all this thing if you are still cheated how to file a complaint okay or who can file a complaint first see where consumer himself Can who can file a complaint? Then consumer himself can file a complaint. Second, state government, state, central government or government of union territories can file a complaint. Third, consumer society or company law or prevailing state. Next, representative consumer on behalf of consumers on a matter in which it is interest in all the consumers. There are certain instances where lot of consumers or a group of consumers are included then a representative can file a complaint in the public interest next any member of the family or person who has purchased the product or service with his permission may file a complaint if there is shortage of material or service or may be lodge a complaint against the loss okay so any member family member can even file a complaint for the problem or the uh, trouble that is being created okay if the producer or the trader neither find solution nor shows preparedness to find solution of true correct and clear complaint in that case consumer or his family members may file a case in the local district forum state forum or national we have already seen the criterias 
for filing a complaint in any of these three. They may complain in supply, court, office, metrology, the science of weight and measures, and consumer forum, consumer society, collection of this also. Okay, so they can file a complaint anywhere into the mentioned places. Next, the consumer can file a complaint if the item or service is faulty or deficient or is not in accordance with the agreement or prevalent law if it is not as per the law or as per told. Thus, consumer may file a case against deficiency in quality of type and purity of goods, less weight, etc. So, in this way, a consumer may file a complaint if he is not been satisfied with the product given to him. Now, how to file a complaint? Okay, very important. How to file a complaint? A victim may file a complaint in simple and clear language. He doesn't have to be very legal. He has to file in very simple language, either by typed or handwritten. See, it is not compulsory to have a typed letter, but you can write it handwritten or through a email also. See, now as it is a digital error, so email also are accepted. If the victim goes to the court through lawyer, then he needs affidavit. Okay, then he legally needs an affidavit. Name of the applicant, address, contact number should be there into the application. So you can easily file a complaint on the website itself. Then uh, you can easily file through a handwritten application also. Next, what should be done? The right detailed description of the complaint and give the reasons of complaint. See, first of all, detailed description of the complaint and the reasons of complaining it. Next, enclose copy of supportive evidences you need to enclose a copy of supportive like the bill documents or anything related to it. documents related to action never give the original evidence always provide a copy never give let me highlight it never give the original evidences enclosed bill what are the evidences can be enclose a bill receipt of payment etc if the payment have been done by check then the attachment counter or give the detail of the check right so in this way you need to go then what other things can be enclosed an enclosed copy of condition mentioned okay by the sellers copy of advertisement pamphlet prospectus all that things okay can be also attached you may Put a copy of the advertisement which shows that you can get, suppose you have bought a mobile phone and it tells that you will be getting warranty for two years. Okay? And if your mobile gets malfunctioned or it gets spoiled in two years, uh, within two years, you can go for a complaint if the trader is not ready to change it for you. Right? Complaint may be lodged in any of the consumer forum by submitting appropriate fees or as per the amount of the compensation claim as per the needed or the required fees by the government you can go to the any of the consumer forum even consumers may lodge a complaint within two years see, of emergence of the reasons of complaint you can two years within two years you need today after two years it is not acceptable any consumer may call on Gujarat State Helpline, free number 1800-232-0222. That is the Gujarat State Helpline number, okay? And the national number is 1800-114000. So that is the national level helpline. You can even give a call on this particular toll-free number and the people there sitting there will provide you with all kind of guidance that is needed to file a complaint and to solve any of the problem that you are facing due to the faulty services or faulty product that you have received. For consumer related complaint as well as special information related to law and guidance, see, you can file a complaint even okay, here and they will give you guidance related to the consumer related complaints as well as the special information related to law and guidance. So here we saw about the two main topics that is price rise and consumer awareness in detail. We also saw how the various things, if we are aware, if we are alert, then it is hard for the traders to cheat us. But at the same time, there are certain responsibilities that we need to follow. We also saw about the various legal 
steps that are taken by the government at the same time we also saw about various institutions that are working for consumer awareness we saw about the national institutions that are working for the standardization of the products that is isi bis edmar and so on at the same time we also saw about the international organizations iso okay and cse that all are also working for the awareness of the consumer but ultimately it depends on the consumer if the consumer is alert educated and most importantly aware then he can be always safe he cannot be cheated by the traders so with this we complete our chapter hope you have understood it read the chapter properly understand it go through all the video lectures and most importantly read all the parts of textbook because textbook is the main thing from which you can easily get all the knowledge hope we have understood it so we complete our chapter with here